All right, looks further off. And uh, let's see if uh, one of our runners will get the sub 10 uh, Elder Kettle House here, which is not, not easy to do. So let's see how this goes. Oh, 1054. That's really good, too. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have two different routes here. Uh, Mexican runner will be going with the peace spread route. So he's going to go into the tournament uh, or the tutorial first, while Kev will be going into Force Follies for some extra coins, too, because he's going to go with the lobber spread route, I believe. Uh, and lobber spread is the more uh, popular choice since it. It's a lot safer in on many bosses. Uh, but uh, so we, we'll we'll see uh, Timar, uh, the Mexican runner, be had uh, by a boss here in the beginning because he's gonna just go straight into root pack after buying the the spread uh, spread shot here. And ooh, let's see how. Okay, <laughs> Kev got got through a force follows here. Really good. And meanwhile, this runner is going into the pack. All right, takes out the potato with relative ease here. And oh, it's gonna go for the. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna go for the secret face here, uh, which is usually the choice when you have the peace spread weapons. But yeah, this is a. There's not a lot of time difference if you go for it the normal route here. So yeah, takes, takes out the onion with these there and into the carrot. Should be dead soon. And he got it. All right, cool. And meanwhile, Kev is going with the uh, uh, He's gonna go with some lobber traps here, where he stands in the place where uh, the onion is gonna spawn and shoots a lot of uh, lobber bullets upwards, so she'll bounce and once the onion spawns, he will get up right into those uh, those lobbers. And yeah, that we're gonna see a lot of that, those lobber traps throughout the run because they are uh, a source of immense damage. In some cases. All right, so we see TMR going into Ribbing Croaks. Let's see how this goes. Okay, he's gonna go for a two cycle here uh, in the first phase. So you got the uh, Fireflies first here, but I think he's gonna do a transition into the second phase here. And I'm not sure if he dealt enough damage to do the phase skip here, but we'll see. All right, that wasn't enough damage, so he's gonna have to deal with this phase two now. With the uh, with the fan and such. All right. Meanwhile, we see Kev uh, got the punches first, and you can do uh, a face disc face skip if you have punches first, uh, right after the punches. But it's really tough, so I can respect him not going for for that strat here. So he's gonna do the two cycle, and he should be good here to skip the second phase like that. Nice. All right, and uh, we see TMR here. Didn't get the one cycle on the last phase, but he should be almost done with the fight. All right, there we go. Oh, and meanwhile, Kev, Kev getting the pull, uh, the ball RNG here. Which makes it really hard to get the one cycle here, but uh, he shouldn't have much of the fight left here. He should be done pretty soon. There we go. Really good. All right. So, pretty tight race, I gotta say. Uh, if you take into account the fact that TMR uh, is going for the peace spread route, so we'll be ahead by a little bit uh, during these uh, first few bosses, but uh, with Kev using the lobber, he should be able to catch up uh, later on. So yeah, we need a both fighting Koopla Ground here. So 
Two team are using some damage boost here in, this, in the last phase, getting those spread EXs in. Ooh. Okay, nice skill there. See if uh, Cab does the same thing here. All right. Yeah. So yeah, those uh, special EXs. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Almost got slammed there, but Cab uh, dodging out of the way there. Really good. All right. Got a third nine there. Good fights from both players. Okay, so both of them will be moving on to Hilda and this can be a really scary fight depending on how you handle this fight uh, the fastest way to do this fight is you take two intentional damage boosts and let's see if uh, our players will go for both of them I see TMR goes for the first one Here's a real high class bout. All right and let's see if he goes for the second one here in just a second Okay, he went out of the way. He didn't have any cards to do the EX there. Because the thing about the damage boost there is you won't want to use an EX while uh, Hilda is moving from left to right. And if you can't do that, then it's not really worth it to go for the damage boost. And also, you want to manage your EXs uh, and try to hit, like, try to make every one of those EXs hit for four ticks or more. And we see Kev going for the damage boost there on the second damage boost as well. Really risky strat, but I like it. Okay, and TMR is just finishing off uh, Hilda there. I saw him take one hit there in the end, so maybe it was a good idea to avoid the second damage boost there. So yeah, good decision from TMR while we... Watch uh, Kev taking care of the last phase of Hilda with 1 HP. This can be really scary, but he handles it like a pro. Good job. <clears throat> right, 110. I think uh, Team Argon are 107. These are both really good times, so good work from both of them. Meanwhile, Team R is going into Cagney. And, well, as Wise Man once said, uh, Good Cagney patterns don't exist. And uh, we can see that here as TMR is getting seeds first. Good day for us. Well done. And begin. Okay. Let's see Kev getting the extender boy. Oh, getting getting acorns. Okay. Could this be Oh, this could be actually a good uh, Cagney pattern for Kev right here. There we go. Nice. You didn't have to deal with any seeds, so that was really good. All right there, TMR finishing off uh, Cagney. And Kev's right behind by not not a, not a lot of time. Uh, well, I guess the, the timers are a bit uh, off here because... Uh, because of loading times, but uh, let's see, Dino is uh, syncing up here, so let's see what. Yeah, so they're really close. Uh, this is a really close race so far, actually. Got a four to one on Kane, and that's really good. And see TMR going into aisle two here. We're gonna fight Bomb Bomb. Uh, Oh no, he goes for... Okay, this is the old route. He goes for Beppy, Beppy first here, so... We'll see a slight change in the boss order uh, right here, because I think Kev is going to go for uh, Balma first. So yeah, uh, Balma is a very RNG heavy fight, because... There are five different mini bosses, but uh, you only fight three of them, and it's random which ones you get in, the, in what order. So we see Kev going for the Lava Trap uh, strat here, which is very useful because 
Oh, nice. Get, get the kill on the waffle right before he attacked them. So that's... They can... They can lose a lot of time if that waffle uh, attacks before... Before you kill him. Uh, because you can't really kill him while he's doing the attack. But... Going into last wave one HP. This could be scary. I think he's got... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I, I cursed him there a little bit. Sorry about that, Kev. I mean, what was the team are finishing off the last phase of uh, Beppy there? Didn't have to worry about those balls. Good job from Team R. Oh, there we go. So that's what happens if you if it, if you don't uh, kill a waffle in time, you have to deal with the. Uh, attack there, and you can't really kill him while he's doing that attack. I got the cupcake. Oh, <laughs> he avoided all attacks from the from the cupcake, but then the gunshot came at him. Kind of missed that. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this is scary. Ooh. No! Oh man, that was so close to the kill, I think. Oh man. Yeah, that, that head chasing after you can be really scary to get around. So, yeah. Right, so meanwhile, we'll see Team R taking care of Jimmy. Going to the pillar face here. And they didn't see if he... Okay, yeah, he, ha he has many bombs. Into a sarcophagus phase, should have placed a well-placed EX right there for a lot of damage. And that makes really short work of the death phase. Oh, is he going? Oh, he's going for the secret phase here. So we're gonna see the mini mini pop head <laughs> right here. Uh, so Instead of just uh, going the normal route where you fight like a big puppet, which is its own phase, uh, you go straight into the last phase here instead. Well, the downside is that Jimmy does have all the health left. Uh, and you also have to deal with uh, this mini puppet shooting at you from the from the middle. Oh, we see uh, Kev is finishing off Farman there, and also. Team R taking care of Jimmy almost at the same time, so good stuff from both of them. So I believe Team R will go will go to uh Ball and Ball next. While Kev is going into Wally. So this is a real scary fight. There's a lot of stuff uh that you have to dodge here. Oh, and he got clipped by that bullet right there. Alright, so yeah, staying far behind on the first phase is uh, the best thing you can do here. To avoid all the, all the eggs and all the bar birds and stuff. And going to the second phase here. Dodge all the feathers and stuff. Alright. Doing very well on this fight so far. Meanwhile, Team R getting the... Uh... Oh, right. Uh, I should probably mention, if you saw Kev there, he did a pass there right as to kill the, uh, the baby bird. Uh, that actually causes the last phase here to spawn a lot quicker by a few seconds. Oh no, Team R taking a death on the last phase there of Bomb Bomb. Oof, that is... That is awful, but I think he can get on this try here. Alright, good job with the cupcake there. Getting a Canicorn. So Kev, moving on to Jimmy. Uh, 
So I'm curious to see if he... I think he's going to go for the normal route uh, with the puppets in the third phase here. Or fourth phase, I mean. But uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, so let's see here. Timar uh, taking on S faces of Raman again. Ooh, this is scary. Yeah, play safe there. Avoid the head. There we go. Nice. Nice and safe. Just stay on the platform and shoot the shooter. That's a good and, good and safe option. Well done. Okay, so Kev here, nuking the sarcophagus phase. To make sure work of that phase, and... Yeah, I think, yeah, he's, he's uh, going for the normal puppet uh, phase here, so we can... We get to see both routes here, which is uh, fun to see. Alright, getting parries, nuking the puppet. Yeah, very well, very well done there. And this will make the last phase a lot shorter than it was for, uh, for TMR, since uh, he didn't go for the secret phase here. So yeah, that's the fight done. Really good fight from Kev right there. But when we see TMR going into the bird phase here with only one HP, ooh, it's a scary. Using the nuke. Alright, then we got him. Using the, using the poster to make him spawn faster. Alright, so he got he got Wally going right first here, which is good RNG, but he got the hard attack first, but not a huge deal. As long as he's going going right. Oh no. Uh getting Getting hit by the trash right there. Oof. That's tragic, but let's see how uh, Kev is taking care of uh, Beth right here. Using the lava trap to uh, uh, to hit the balloon there, and oh, and he got the good RNG here on the on the donkey face. He got. The green, uh, the green one uh, on the right side, which is always what you want. Because then you can one-cycle this phase without, without any problems. Now he's gonna do a lob trap here for the last phase, which is gonna pop up in the middle. Oh no, and TMR taking another death on, on Wally right there. Yeah, you can see how th this is a really rough fight for sure. By far, it's one of the harder uh, plane levels in this uh, in the speedrun, at least. All right, Kev moving on from uh, from Betty there. So he's gonna move on to the last boss of this aisle, which is Grim. And Grim is, you could say, he's one of the big reasons you wanna have lava the lava weapon here because it really really helps taking care of uh, yeah you, you, you can just watch and see like how how well this weapon works against Grim because you can like stay pretty much wherever you don't really have to care uh, how your clouds are forming up or uh, anything like that you can just shoot it from pretty much wherever you are on the screen while dodging all the stuff. All right, and team are taking taking care of uh, Walder right there. So we'll see him also joining the, uh, the Grim fight here in just a second. All right, taking care of second phase there. Very good. So yeah, this is this is where the Labra weapon really shines because. You can just jump over those uh, uh, fireballs and just shoot around them and always hit 
Always it's grim. Uh, and there we go. It was a bit scary there because he had one HP, but yeah, he he dodged all the stuff that you got thrown at him. So really well done by Cam right there. So on the other on the other end here, we see TMR uh, going at uh, Grim with uh, pea shooter and spread, which is a lot harder, <laughs> at least in the in the last phase. Uh, I think phase two is a bit harder too, but it's manageable. But the last phase is where you it gets really scary when you have pea shooter. Ooh, dodging around those fireballs, really well done. Here's a real high class bout. Missing all your EXs. Right, so he has uh, he has a lot of health here, so I think he should be. I don't want to I want to curse him, but it looks like it's gonna be fine. Okay, I should shut up. <laughs> okay, so yeah, getting the flame through there. This is a good opportunity to do as much damage as you can because you don't have to jump around those fireballs, and he gets him. Very nice stuff from TMR right here. Meanwhile, we have Kev uh, in the rumor honey bottom fight. He got he got the uh, middle pattern first, so he could potentially get a quick kill here. All right, looks like we're going to the last race, but I think he, she should be dead soon. Oh no! Oh. Okay. Oh no! It didn't get all. Oh man. That was, uh, that was a bit unlucky because he didn't get all the platforms he needed to jump around there. Uh, but yeah, let's see if let's see if he gets some better luck with the platforms with this, this time. All right, getting the middle middle attack again here, and also TMR is uh, doing the same fight here, so it's pretty close here. Uh, between the runners. So I think uh, Cat tried to do an EX there inside the hitbox earlier, but it got eaten. Uh, so uh, they didn't quite get the quick on here, so it's gonna have to deal with this last phase again. But he does have 2 HP here, and he gets it. Nice. Good job. All right, meanwhile, TMR is second phase here with only one HP. I think the last phase is about to start here. Uh, didn't quite see how much damage he dealt. So, okay, it wasn't enough to get the quick kill here, but hopefully, okay. Didn't have much health left in the last phase there, so could take care of that pretty quickly before uh, before you have to deal with all those punches and stuff, it can be really awkward. Especially if you have bad platform RNG right there. Okay, so Kev moving into uh, Dr. Carl. Very scary fight. Uh, probably the hardest plane boss in this in this run, uh, in my opinion. Because this is quite a bullet hell, <laughs> you could say. There's a lot of stuff just coming at you just constantly. But, uh, Kev is having none of that, just taking really good care of that. First phase, also taking a damage boost there to get that... Um, get that EX uh, shot when, when the head goes from left to right, because that deals a lot of damage and kills the second phase really quickly. Well, he's taking a hit here. Oh, ooh, the skin is scary. <laughs> also, TMR also joined the last phase here. Ooh. Oh my god, I... <laughs> Alright, he got him. <laughs> that was really scary. But he, he, he got him in the end there. Really nice stuff from Kev right there. And we have TMR also <laughs> really close to victory here, but he only has one HP. Okay, he got him too. Nice. 
yeah, that last phase can be super scary if you if you get there with low HP. Uh, so really well done by both the runners, not dodging all the stuff there. Alright, so we see Kev going into Sally right here. <clears throat> Jumping around. Now it's gonna put up a little horizontal love trap here. Uh, which doesn't really deal damage to, to Sally while she's like entering the stage, but you can do, use it to build up some cards uh, during the down, downtime basically. Okay. Well done with the second phase there, as we move into fourth phase. And he has a lot of HP here, so he can damage boost uh, through this big wave. You don't have to use the Meteor to get around that. And moving into the last phase here. Doesn't have any cards there, but he should be able to take care of that. Nice, nice stuff. Right. See TMR finishing off the fourth phase there. Losing those um, uh, those P shooters uh, EXs there to shoot to shoot the hitbox while it's uh, lowering down while it's outside the screen, which can be really useful when you have P shooter. So, yeah, it's pretty even right now actually. A great plan. Okay, so Vernon Vermin, uh, considered one of the easier fights in this uh, in the speed run. Oh, and a double parry from Kev right there. <laughs> cool. That's that's kind of hard to get actually. Both of those parries, but Kev just showing off right here. How is done? Right. Kev staying in below Werner in this phase. Now he's going into the last phase here where he turns into the cat. And yeah, this is like the easiest fight, or, or the easiest phase in this fight. There's not really much you have to worry about. You can actually stay, uh, if you have an EX, uh, you can stay in the middle. And just jump over the paw, just like TMR did right there. <laughs> Uh, and just jump up to an uh, EX and you can land safely right below his, uh, below his uh, face right there. So yeah, good stuff from both the players. Uh, pretty almost synced up here. Uh, so yeah, this is getting closer by, <laughs> by after every boss basically. Team, team are really doing a really good job here, catching up. Uh, as we enter the briny, briny beer fight here, which is very uh, uh, RNG heavy, uh, Kev taking those berries, really nice job, and he gets the uh, the shark attack here, which is very good. It's very safe as long as you uh, stay on the right side, which you do anyway because you're shooting at briny beer. Oh, <laughs> he gets another shark! Wow. Good RNG here. That's that's incredible. That's really good. <laughs> I really wish every fight <laughs> looked like that when I was doing events. All right, so just the last phase remaining here, and oh, so close to getting the uh, the one second there, but yeah, kill him right after the laser came out. Oh, and we have Team Art on the last phase here with one HP. It's gonna be scary. Oh, he went for the parry, but he missed, but he survived anyway. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Man, that was close. Good job from TMR there. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was kind of <laughs> pretty incredible. Alright. So, uh, Kev moving into uh, Calamaria fight here. Last plane, plane boss in the run. T 
think, in those parries. I think it's aiming to get a nuke uh, as the next phase starts. Oh, I'm having some trouble with the ghost here, but he has 2 HP here, so it should be fine for the next phase. Uh, yeah, he's using the nuke right there to avoid getting petrified by that uh, like case right there and making really short work of that phase too so I don't have to deal with the eels. And all that's remaining is the last phase here. As long as you stay right in her face, uh, you can't get hit by her attacks or her petrifying gaze, but you still have to worry about the spikes coming up again, uh, behind her. But yeah, doing a really good job there with the Dashing all the spikes and get a 109. That's a that's a good time. Good job from Kev there. Also, we see TMR here going to the same last phase there. Oh, with one HP. This could be a bit scary, but I think I can do this. Nice job from TMR there. All right, so. Next fight is one of the more technical ones here. Uh, uh, the Phantom Express. So let's see how both these players will handle this. Oh no. So yeah, you, you want to take those parries uh, as the fucking drops them, but sadly he missed that first one, but it shouldn't be a huge deal. You can still get five cards here, so that's good. Not sure if he's, I don't think he's gonna get the one cycle here, but I don't think he one fifth anyway. So he's gonna get a nice and safe uh, two cycle on the skeleton here. Really good job. Alright, going to the twin phase here. Can in first one very quickly there. Alright, staying safe on the left side there. That's uh I can respect that for sure. Um, you don't want to have uh, too too little HP for the last phase because that one can get really scary. Uh, there's a lot of uh, fireballs uh, randomly flying around while you're trying to get close to <laughs> where you need to hit him. So you definitely want to have at least two HP for this this phase. Oh, we didn't get the one cycle on the last phase there, but should be done soon. There we go. Nice. Nice job there from Kev. Uh, we're going to see TMR uh, heading into the end of this fight as well. So he has, he has five cards. So he might be able to get the one cycle here. Right, didn't get it there, but... See how this goes now. There we go. Okay. Short two cycle there. Really good job from TMR. Okay. So uh, Kev going into King Dice. And let's see. Uh, so he's going to probably go for the 3 4 uh, 8 route here. Since that's one of the. Uh, one of the more popular routes when you go for, uh, when you go with Labber spread. Because uh, then you, you can take a damage boost here on the, on the, oh, oh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Almost taking a death there. But yeah, you can like stay behind uh, the cigar there and keep shooting in with spread. Uh, but unfortunately, Kev uh, moved to the left a bit too quickly there. So, uh, and he was <laughs> turned turned the other way when he was standing behind him there. Oh, he's going with five here. Okay. Yeah, I suppose this uh, this uh, I can't I can't remember his name. It's uh, Hocus, Hocus Pocus or something, but uh, yeah, it's uh, like easier, easier to handle 
uh, than the Domino Spite, which you would normally do. Uh, I think uh, TMR is going to go for the Domino Fight here. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh man, Kev with those those really tight jumps through the narrow gaps between those skulls there. That's not an easy uh, easy thing to do. So, props for <laughs> props to Kev for doing that with one H HP. Alright, Kev going into the 8th bolt here, which is by far the easiest boss, or the easiest mini boss on this uh, board. So yeah, we uh, definitely go for this one uh, most of the time. There's this more uh, risky uh, route you can do, where you go for 7 instead, with Piruleta, but that's... Uh, to, do that, to do that fight optimally, you have to have a lot of HP for that. So, yeah, it's also very risky, even with the if you have more HP there. But yeah, Kev taking, taking care of 8 ball, as TMR also is doing that. And uh, I see Kev doing the last phase in this fight, which is King Dice himself. He's gonna have to parry all these cards. And he can't miss a single one because that will mean death. I hope I didn't curse him right now, but it looks like he's taking care of this. There we go. Nice job from Kev there, finishing off King Dice. So we see TMR also going into the last phase here. But he, he got a lot of hearts on uh, throughout the board here, so he's, I'm not going to worry about taking hits here. Yeah, he's just taking hits left and right here to... Uh, not have to parry this much. So yeah, good job from Team R there, to finishing off King Dice as well. As Kev is moving into the, the devil fight. So this first uh, phase here can be... Okay, well... <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, I just went for the retry there, I can understand that, because you don't want to get... You really don't want to get the... Uh, uh, the spider uh, attack because you can't really like deal damage while he's uh, outside the screen in the spider form. Oh no! And he got he got he got taken by that uh, imp jump, running from the right side there. Being unfortunate. And also, Timar getting the uh, the. Um, uh, spider attack there. We kept getting the, uh, the dragon attack there. Some pretty good luck this time around. Though. Oh, we're almost synced here. Okay, <laughs> both of them moving into the last phase almost at the same time. This, uh, this will get really close actually. So both of them doing the pass uh, buff there, uh, which will. It'll cancel the uh, Cuphead's like, animation uh, where he just stands around being scared, so he can shoot quicker uh, right after that transition, so it saves a couple seconds. Right, last, second is last phase here. Right, doing a good job with the EXs here, getting all those bullets in. TMR on the last phase here, see if you can take this. And he got it. GG's to TMR. Oh, GG's to Kev. Holy moly. How close was this race? Oh my god. Three seconds. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, this, this was amazing. <laughs> I can't believe how close this race was in the end. Hello. So yeah, how <sighs> about that run? Oh, I lost the race by three seconds. Yeah, it was super close. <laughs> oh, I hate everything, ah. <laughs> Hello. Man. Yo, TMR. GG's, man. Congrats on the victory. So, so Kev, how, how old are you? 13. 
You see? You need to respect yeah. the elders, man. <laughs> 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 oh man yeah Kev uh, about, uh, how do you feel about the match oh I hate I uh, hate that uh, I just hate this run I lost by 3 seconds uh, and my yeah. heart rate was so high throughout the entire thing yeah I can understand that man it was props to you though I, I saw you on the King Dice fight there going for those super tight jumps uh, on, on the rabbits, which are really tough to do while you had one HP. So, yeah, that was really impressive. <laughs> but you, you, you just kept, kept going uh, on a high pace after that. So, I think you did a really good job here. And also, Timar, how, how did you feel about this run, how, this race? Well, honestly, I think the chat rescued me, like saying that that we were kind of close because I I was already like oh man I already lost the race, <laughs> but they were so like they, they say at, at some point in Island three oh you were close I'm like oh well I still have a chance then I, I should focus right <laughs> and yeah that got me back into the race because I was so pissed that I died to the it's just I hate the Xbox controller so much like. The flying levels are very difficult for me because I press down and it goes down right and stuff like that. It's just little things that always piss me off about this controller. The PS4 controller is not great either. So I definitely need to switch to the SNES controller, but I'm a little bit scared for that. But yeah, I, I was feeling all right, you know, just... Yeah, yeah, just it a, was... Just another yeah. race. <laughs> It was a it was a treat to watch this ma this race. This was really tight or really close, like throughout the entire race. Uh, like every every time, because you both had a few deaths, but it was like we went really back and forth throughout the run. It was always really close. Um, so yeah, I I think uh, Chad also enjoyed that. So let's see if there's any if there are any questions from Chad. So if there are any questions you want to ask. I can uh, try to read them out here. Um, but uh, yeah, let's see here. Um, looking at the brackets here, this will mean that uh, TMR will move on in the loosest bracket here. And uh, he will face whoever, uh, let's see here on the brackets. OK, so. Um, You'll be fighting either zero planes or uh, whoever wins out of uh, Jason or Ju Yuka in the uh, winners bracket here. So, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, well, maybe it's a bit early to uh, ask this, but how how do you feel about the next match? Who do you, who? Um... How do I feel? Well, I mean. I have not practiced anything, so considering that the first race against SPD Wolf was a good practice to 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 lead to some more practice to the actual match that is gonna be the next time, I feel that at least I know what to do more or less. So I just need to. Oh, you didn't practice do... at all. <laughs> That's no, actually. I did, I did not. Nice. <laughs> I did not. I mean, I I was also hungover <laughs> a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Too much apple juice. Uh, but um, yeah, um, I, I definitely like. It, it just helps me, like all this, this, right? But I, I think I need to get more like in a marathon scenario, so that way I will, I will have a more consistent time rather than just uh, well flukes and deaths over here and over there. Oh yeah, I think if you if you do some practice, I think you can really uh, like polish out those uh, those uh, what do you call them? like rough edges. So yeah, I think you'll yeah. be doing fine throughout the rest of the the tournament here. Um, I, I I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, do you have any? Questions from chat? Anything you want to ask either TMR or uh, Cap360? I don't 
<laughs> <laughs> All right, doesn't seem like the chat is uh, having any questions here, but. Uh... Well, either way, I, I want to thank you, uh, Gigi Spirons, and also you, Kirtar, and all the people doing commentary to keeping up together this tournament. It's, it's pretty nice. I, I, I feel a little bad that I have like a, a big race, the Big 20, uh, so I'm kind of focusing a little bit more that more in that. But uh, it's great to have a tournament of Cuphead. It's really nice. I, 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 I like Cuphead a lot, and I'm sure like uh, a lot of people here uh, and then also in my chat love cophead so it's pretty nice uh, that they can see like the really great uh, competitors or players uh, joining this tournament that's amazing of course i'm not very practiced but all the other players which are top are are very good and it's always a treat to watch and, and it's fun to watch a race scenario like like right now right you said that the race was very intense with backs and forth so you never know what's going to happen in a race and that makes it cool to watch. Oh yeah, yeah, very true. Uh, um, yeah, I can totally understand uh, wanting to focus for the Big 20. That's a very daunting uh, challenge, uh, just watching from the sidelines, because I know that uh, SPD Wolf is also going for that Big 20, um, which will be uh, uh, in September. Maybe you can yeah, tell us more about the, about the talks that. of September. Yeah, the Big 20, for people who have not heard about it, is a race uh, organized by the best of NES team on Twitch. Uh, it's going to be streamed or featuring the best of NES, uh, twitch.tv slash best of NES. It's going to be the 12th of September. The concept is quite simple. It's 20 games. Uh, each game has a winning condition. Not all of them, you have to beat them. But once you meet the, the winning condition of the game, uh, then you move to the next game. So far, I believe there are 72 racers uh, that sign up for the for for that, and it it looks like it will be a very huge one. You have really amazing, well, uh, very recognizable names like Lack Attack, uh, um, Cool Kid, Andy Sue, you know, well, SPD Wolf as well, like a lot of very big, uh, renowned personalities from uh, the retro community which uh, will make it really nice and entertaining. Arcus fanboys are going to be there. <laughs> Arcus is going to be there too. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be pretty nice um, and fun to watch too. Oh yeah, that's going to be amazing to uh, to watch uh, when it starts uh, the Big 20 uh, race. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Good luck to yeah. you <laughs> in that as well. Thank thanks, thanks. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. We do have another match coming up uh, in about five minutes here, uh, which will be Kaleva versus Stunning. So I'm, I'm personally excited to watch that because as a Swede, uh, watching two, two Finnish players <laughs> battling out against each other, it brings me joy in, uh, <laughs> in a certain way. But yeah, it's... Uh, they also really, they are very uh, close on the leaderboards as well. So I think it's going to be a very close race too. So yeah, you don't want to miss that. If you, uh, you stick around, just stick around. It's going to be amazing. All right. So I guess I'm going to leave uh, and I'm going to host uh, the GG channel since uh, there's going to be this race coming up. That's amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing commentary. I'm not sure if you're going to be doing commentary for this next race, but yeah, it's going to be cool to watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll be doing commentary as well here on the next uh, match. And uh, thank you so much, TMR and Kev360 for joining us today. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, we can wrap this up. I think the next race is about to start, so I guess we can wrap it up here and uh, we'll get back to you very shortly.